Let's take a look at the annual overheads cost tab here. So up until this point, our focus has been on production and production projections and how that works and, and looking at that. Now we want to start looking at the finances. And so we often think about the finances of, of what it costs to produce a tray. But as your business grows, there's all these costs involved that people often forget about and really is, is one of the things that can make or break a, a business and determine whether you're successful or not is by uh, properly accounting for these costs in the beginning. So we're going to do that in several ways, but we're going to start off with what, what are our overhead costs. And these are the costs that um, many of these costs are the same whether you produce one tray or 10,000 trays. So things like rent and, and landfill and telephone and things like that. Now, obviously, it's not quite that simple. Some of it is like if you're renting a, a space, you're paying for that rent whether you produce or not. Um, other things like uh, electricity may shift depending on your production, about how much space you need for that production, for example. So these figures here are some figures I've used from a typical year in production uh, for the food peddlers. And you can see things like there's rent payment, uh, insurance, and this is really important, um, you know, maintaining the website with, uh, you know, our, our domain and our hosting and security certificate, things like that. Lots of electricity for winter production for heat and light, landfill, telephone, uh, advertising, which might be Facebook posts, printing flyers, things like that. Vehicle maintenance, in the food peddler's case, it's bike maintenance. Uh, our farmer's market fees uh, feed in from the farmer's market tab here. So uh, we don't need to calculate that, it's already done. Things like the business license, uh, organic certification, repairs, equipment upgrades, things like that. Uh, and then things like soap and bleach and paper towels and gloves and like there's just all these things, um, uh, our, our software that we use and our fees that we pay, uh, interest if you've got a loan out. So lots and lots of, um, um, of things to consider. So we've got, uh, we've got basically $23,000, 20, almost $24,000 in costs. And this doesn't include seeds and soil and labor, which are major costs. So uh, what we do is we take that and we distribute it over the number of trays we're going to project it to produce in a year. And it basically uh, works out to be $2.96 a tray. So every tray costs you $3 without before you've even paid for the seed and the soil and the labor. So that's really, really important to keep in mind. Now in this example, maybe you're not spending this amount on electricity or advertising. So you need to adjust this as you see fit and you're not certified organic, but you are going to have these costs. And you may think in a way you don't like, oh, I'm I'm running this out of my home. I, I'm doing I'm the labor, you know, all these things, but you need to account for that. So if you're running out of this, this out of your home, for example, you need to at least put a number in here for the amount of your your home that this production is taking up. Another way to look at it is the amount of value you give for the impact you're having on your family's life by producing microgreens at home. And so uh, the reason this number is important in your projections is maybe you can produce at home now, but if you scale up and you, you no longer have space at home, you need to have a space somewhere else. And so you've got that already in your financial projections. So this is, uh, I start with overhead costs because this is kind of also the reality check tab uh, where you start to get a sense of, oh, like there's a lot of costs here I hadn't even thought about. Um, and some of these things are stuff you're paying up front. Your organic certification, your insurance, um, your farmer's market fees. You won't pay all these, but you'll pay big chunks of them together. So, um, and then some of them are expenses you've already got, like some of the electricity, uh, your phone, you know, things like that. So. Uh, this is uh, very specific to one type of business, but I think it's very representative about uh, what you could be uh, potentially, um, yeah, you, your overhead costs could look like. So it gives you a very realistic look at that. So take a good look at this and be sure to add other stuff in here like vehicle insurance or fuel or shipping or things like that, that I have not accounted for, uh, but that would apply in your case. Now this is going to come in important later when we look at what are our total costs and our total costs per tray over the course of a season.